Filling tires with water or special fluids is a common practice, not only in agriculture but also in industrial sectors that operate in challenging terrain conditions, such as the forestry industry. In the agricultural world, this is done to take advantage of several benefits related to enhancing the technical capabilities of tractors for heavy-duty tasks like plowing, cultivating, and harvesting. Likewise, it is applied to tractors designed for material handling, in construction work or other heavy operations. But really, what are the advantages? What benefits do fluid-filled tires have over air-filled tires? Stay tuned to find out. Before attempting to fill tires with water, it is important to understand a basic rule to determine whether a tractor is heavy enough to prevent oversteering. Specifically, it is recommended that the tractor have at least 49 kilograms of weight per horsepower, as otherwise the risk of slipping would be inevitable. Similarly, the purpose of water ballasting is to balance the tractor's load, achieving a weight distribution of 60% on the rear axle and 40% on the front axle. It's important to note that not all tires are compatible with this type of inflation, as they require a special air water valve. Once everything is set, the filling process begins by positioning the valve at an elevated position, allowing water to enter up to an ideal level of 75% of the total volume. Additionally, the tractor itself must be lifted using a hydraulic jack, ensuring that the tire being filled does not compress under its own weight, allowing for proper filling. To fill the tire with water, a special supply pump is required, which allows water flow while simultaneously evacuating air. Once the ideal water level is reached, the tire is then topped off with air until it reaches normal pressure. One important consideration is that this 75% water level represents a weight increase, which can range between 250 and 1,400 kilograms, depending on the model and size of the tire. This practice is based on a very simple principle. By adding water to the tires, it acts as a counterweight, drastically lowering the tractor's center of gravity. Thanks to this, it is possible to achieve greater stability, especially when transporting implements or heavy loads over difficult, uneven terrain. Additionally, the increased weight significantly enhances the tractor's traction, as it ensures that all tires maintain constant contact with the ground, preventing slippage on unstable or slippery surfaces. While we can discuss an overall improvement in tractor performance, the benefits of using ballast fluids are also associated with reducing soil compaction. Although it may seem contradictory due to the added weight, water-filled tires help evenly distribute the overall weight across the tire footprint, reducing surface damage to the crops, which helps maintain soil fertility and composition. Just as in agriculture and the forestry industry, water-filled tires make it easier for hauling tractors to transport large, heavy loads over muddy terrain. Meanwhile, in the industrial sector, lifting equipment can remain stable during loading and unloading operations, a feature that also applies to agricultural tractors equipped with front loaders. Interestingly, many farmers who adopt this practice suggest that the fluids act as a cooling mechanism, particularly for those in hot climates. The water greatly benefits temperature control, not only for the tires, but also for the axles and braking systems, significantly improving the lifespan of these components. Unfortunately, not everything is positive. This practice also has some notable drawbacks. To begin with, using simple ballast fluids, such as pure water, can lead to serious issues. Direct contact with metal parts inside the wheel accelerates and intensifies corrosion. Additionally, in extremely low temperatures, water can freeze, causing significant problems, which forces farmers to use more complex and expensive ballast fluid alternatives. Although the added weight is responsible for many benefits, it also brings negative side effects. One of these is the increased rolling resistance, which results in higher fuel consumption, especially on hard surfaces. Similarly, although punctures tend to be less problematic, because liquid leaks more slowly than air, tire repairs become significantly more complex, leading to higher maintenance costs. At the same time, tire damage presents a serious environmental issue, as most special ballast fluids contain chemicals that can severely affect soil composition. This has led farmers to develop a wide range of ballast solutions tailored to specific situations. Now, the choice of ballast fluid depends entirely on the needs of each environment and the external factors affecting tractor performance, such as climate, application, cost, and environmental considerations. It is important to always follow the manufacturer's recommendations to ensure compatibility with both the tractor and the tires being used. While plain water is the most common ballast fluid, 
It is often mixed with salt to create a saline solution that better resists extreme temperatures. Additionally, specialized solutions are used in extremely cold environments, such as calcium chloride and ethylene glycol, due to their density and antifreeze properties. It is worth mentioning that there are ballast fluids specifically designed for this purpose. However, since one of the main attractions of this practice is its low implementation cost, these fluids are not commonly used under normal conditions. Interestingly, many farmers have turned to unconventional solutions, such as beet juice, as it adds weight, is environmentally friendly, and has anti-corrosive properties. Other materials used as ballast fluids include polyurethane foams, which offer the main advantage of being a long-term solution that eliminates concerns about punctures. Similarly, methanol is also used due to its anti-freeze properties. Regardless of the ballast material chosen, the main objective remains the same, improving traction, stability, and off-road performance on rough terrain, while considering factors such as climate, application, and cost. To mitigate some of the negative effects of ballast fluids, some farmers have implemented inner tubes inside the tires, which helps prevent corrosion by keeping the fluids separate from metal components. However, it is important to clarify that fluid ballasting is actually an alternative to traditional counterweights. These counterweights, which are placed both at the front and rear of tractors, serve the same purpose of providing stability, balance, and traction. The main issue with these weights is that, to implement them correctly with the appropriate amount of weight, one must consider several factors, such as the type of work being performed, the need for weight distribution between the front and rear, and most importantly, checking the tractor's load capacity in the manual. Other considerations include the type of implement being used, travel speed, and tire size. Although not all tractors strictly require ballast, whether using fluids in the tires or traditional counterweights, the reality is that those designed to handle large loads and pull heavy implements for demanding tasks benefit the most from this practice. While at first glance water ballasting may seem like a cost-effective and efficient solution, its disadvantages such as increased fuel consumption due to dead weight mean that this technique is not always the best solution when trying to improve a tractor's technical performance. Instead, it is always best to evaluate and analyze all possible solutions, such as low-pressure tires, ensuring they adapt to specific needs.